could guess I'm live on YouTube. How would anybody know? If you can see this, leave me a message. I'm going to plug my phone in. Talking to nobody. It says zero people are watching this. Let's see what happens. Oh, five people are on here. Holy cow. Minnesota Refuse. What's up? How you doing? Min Minnesota. You know I love Minnesota, right? It's like one of my favorite places. Twelve people. What's going on, everybody? How do I see comments? Oh, you got to tap the screen. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our guidelines. Hey, Jamie, what's up? Keep on trucking outlaw. Legend. Don't ever call me a legend. That's funny. What's up, Robert? How you doing, buddy? Keeping busy? I just get out of work. Just dropped my daughter off here at dance class, just hanging out. Minnesota's great in the winter. Yeah, ice fishing, snowmobiling. What part of what part of Minnesota are you in? Gotta tap the screen to see the comments. Okay. Virgin Islands in the building. What's up? Johnny Metro, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Ben, how are you? I'm doing well. I just bored. Wanna see who's out there in uh, YouTube land? Snowing in northern Indiana, right? It's always snowing in northern Indiana. What part of northern Indiana in? I know northern Indiana. Lake effect snow, that's all, right? What's up, Aaron? How are you? How's everybody doing today? Everyone, please hit that thumbs up button for our drive the Boston trucker. Helps with the channel. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate it. Central Minnesota. Oh, I know St. Cloud. Oh, yeah, that's way up there. That's way up there. Sure it is. It's going well, Wayne. How are you? Who's going to Louisville this year? Anybody going to go to Louisville? I think it's the 50th uh, anniversary. Christopher Toscano in Connecticut. What's up? Sunny and 70 in Arizona. It's gray. It's 37 degrees, which is warm. And it's raining. We had freezing rain and snow this morning. Snow in a western mass. Oh, really? That's funny. The mass, do you, see, a lot of the questions on my snowplow videos are people who aren't from Massachusetts and they can't understand. What's up, Grumpy Pete? And they can't understand that the state and the cities don't take care of the snow plowing and salting. And uh, I get a lot of questions there. People ask, why? Your contractor? How, how, is, how does that work? So I try to explain to them that in Massachusetts, anyways, it's contractors and state and city. But it seems like there's more contractors on the road. What's shaking smooth rolling? What's going on? What's my thoughts on Canada? It's a, it's a great place to visit. I love Toronto. Um, I want to get up to uh, British Columbia one of these days. Montreal. I've been to Montreal. I'll be back out and working at Asphalt Plant. Oh, that's cool. Next week, Asphalt. That's Wow, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty early. Motown, what's up? Down in Detroit. How's the weather up there? I bet it's snowing in Detroit right now, isn't it? I always call it Detroit. I always notice a lot of truckers, they call it Detroit. Like the word motel. Motel, right? The truckers on a CB radio go, I'm heading to the motel, the Detroit. Mead, Kansas, what's up? Man, Kansas is a great state. Done a lot of trucking in Kansas, 70, 54, Lebo Junction, Liberal, all that good stuff. I was talking about the Freedom Convoy. I haven't even heard about it. Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. I really haven't heard much about it, to be honest. What's up, Richard in Vermont? How's it going? But it's snowing in Vermont. It's snowing everywhere. It's not snowing here for once. Yeah, man. I'm going to be at Louisville. I can't announce where I'm going to be because I'm being hired by somebody to come down and do a thing there. But uh, I'll be there. I'll make an announcement soon. It's no big deal. It's just 60 and sunny in central South Dakota. 60 in South Dakota? Now, that's got to be a typo. It can't be. New Zealand. What's up? How you doing, New Zealand? It's awesome. I want to come to New Zealand one of these days. It looks it looks beautiful there. 54 in northeast Wyoming. There must be a warm front coming across. Okay. 
look up the Freedom Convoy. Y'all have to check that out. I haven't uh, paid much attention to the news lately. I'm doing this deal with some family stuff. Andrew Solfaro, what's up, dude? You home yet? What's up, Peter? Minus six Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Peter's a good dude. I met Peter before. Good day from Australia, mate. How you doing? I saw on the truck paper your friend's Wayne Ellis selling his. He already sold his R model, and he bought a already bought an international nine uh, ninety nine hundred. He's an awesome guy right there, Wayne uh, Wayne Ellis. Aurora, Colorado, fifty. Man, it's warm over there in North Providence. What's up? What's up, Spanky? How you doing? Chinese takeout. Hmm, you gonna get what are you getting? You need some general gauze and some orange sesame chicken. Gotta get the chicken fingers. Don't forget the chicken fingers. Gotta have chicken fingers and general gauze. Just got a 379, dude. Oh, man, 379. Oh, I can't tell you where I'm going to be at at Matt's yet because uh, I haven't got the uh, the word to give out that information. But I will be at Matt's uh, Thursday and Friday for sure, and I might... I might fly out Saturday afternoon the way the way I can enjoy the show on Saturday. But I'll see you over there, Grumpy Pete. Absolutely. Yeah. We haven't really got that much snow. We got about 17 inches the other day. What's up, Wayne Bishop? <laughs> I'm not the best, but thank you. People, they, you guys raised me up on a pedestal, but honestly, I'm just a truck driver like everybody else. I just happen to have a YouTube channel and film it. It's no different than... My job is no different than anybody else's job. I don't work harder than anybody else. I just film it. That's the difference. 78 in Australia. Man, I would love it to be 78. What's up? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh in the house. What's going on, Jim Amato? How you doing? I love Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a good... I like to spend some more time in Pittsburgh. I really, besides trucking, haven't been through there. What are you laughing at, Andrew? Getting Chinese takeout. You know what it is in my house on Monday nights? Meatless Monday. Now, I already had meatless lunch today. I had friggin', uh, my wife made me <laughs> kale and beets and brown rice and avocado. That's what I had for lunch today. And now she's not going to give me any meat tonight either. Because she's not getting any meat either. That's 14, 14 inches more. Wow. Oh, you only got three inches, huh? Oh, shit, that's what she said. What's up, Smith Farm Tilton? Yeah, I love to come to Pittsburgh. I was out that way a few weeks ago, trucking, but uh, no time for stopping. <laughs> She's gonna kill me with that health food, right? I gotta lose some weight, man. This freaking this year sucked. I was I was on my road to health and fitness. I was going to the gym, then they closed the gyms. Freaking, I just. I just stopped exercising, and I don't eat. I don't eat as bad as it looks like in my videos. I mean, I kind of do that for you guys. <laughs> yeah, sure I do. But I did have kale today. Kale with beets and brown rice and avocado, a little bit of homemade dressing. It actually, wasn't bad. I'm gonna have it tomorrow too. Yeah, Robert. I'm a hard worker, but I don't work harder than anybody else. I just make it look hard on YouTube. I don't work. People think I work all the time. I actually, I'm home a lot. I'm home with my kids. Unless we're plowing. You know, yeah, last week was tough. Plowing, salting, hauling snow. There were some extra hours. But, I mean, really, last week we worked 65 to 70 hours, which, yeah, that's a lot of hours. But tech, normally I only work 50, 55 hours a week, 58 sometimes. Pizza is health food. You ever see me put a salad on a pizza? That's how you make it healthy. I've done that a bunch of times. Uh, exercise is overrated. Dude, it's so hard to exercise. I bought a uh, a row machine. Dude, this is so annoying. I have to I have to flick the phone with my finger every time I want to read a comment. I bought a row machine about three months ago. And uh, I'm hardly using it. But I do like rowing. Ah, cool, dude. Thanks, Wayne. I appreciate it. You're the reason I keep getting some new subscribers. Thank you very much. I uh, I do appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this channel. It's not easy. You know, there are some... <laughs> there are some lady truckers, they get 
thousands and thousands of followers. I don't even put up any content. I got to work really hard to get people to follow my channel. And I was recently added to the top 60. So if you go to feedspot.com and you look up uh, YouTube truckers, they added me to the top 60 YouTube channels to watch in 2022. And I've been making YouTube videos since 2009. And I just got recognized. And so I looked to see where the other top 60 are. I don't want to badmouth anybody. I don't know, there's about five to maybe ten people I heard of that have pretty good channels. But the rest of the people, I never really heard of them. I did, I did follow a lot of them, but they only hardly put any uh, trucking content on them. I'm, I think I'm working too hard. I should have caps, t-shirts for sale. You know what, dude? You are 100% right, and I need to get on that. I did make some hats last year. I had 24 hats made. I was going to sell them, and I ended up giving them away. I do need to get some hats or shirts, maybe like a cool truck that looks like my truck, and maybe it says Boston Truck on YouTube or something. I definitely got to get some shirts and hats going. I think people would like those. I don't, I don't want to be a sellout, you know? Like some people just they sell out with merch and stuff. I'm really, I really do the, the YouTube stuff for fun, not really to... I don't need to get famous. I don't need to make money on it, but that would be cool. What do you clean your dash with nowadays instead of pledge? Um, nothing. Uh, I use the the foam glass cleaner. Basically, I I haven't found anything. I'm kind of nervous to put anything. You aren't as hot as Dominique the dump truck driver. She is pretty hot, and she's pretty cool, and she makes great videos. And uh, don't put your husband in the videos, Dominique. It ruins the fantasy. You don't see me putting my wife in the videos. Come on. No, she's awesome. I respect her a lot. A real lot. She's really cool. Favorite state to run in? Uh, anywhere out west. I like I like running out west. Colorado. Anywhere. Anywhere out west is awesome. Need some Boston Trucker stickers. I don't have any Boston Trucker stickers. The other Boston Trucker had some stickers made. Because once in a while I see them. They say Boston Trucker. But I've never had any merch. I just don't want to be, people think I'm like a sellout or something. But... I think it's. I think it, natural progression of things is maybe I'll get some shirts, some hats. I like the hats. I like trucker hats. I had 25 of them. I gave them all away. I don't even have one for myself. But um, I work on that. I have to work on that. Where is everybody today? What is the weather where you are? It is 37 degrees, and it is wet and rainy. Too warm to get called out in the sanders. We had a big sanding event um, Friday and Saturday this week. North Carolina here. What's up, dude? Wicked pissa. Waylon, where are you from? Wayne. When I was a kid. Yeah, that's right. Yep. But, um, yeah. We're just hanging out here. What are Nathan's grades looking like? Let me tell you something. I just got his report card today. Kid got almost all A's and a couple B's. My kid's like really smart. Thank you. Thanks for asking. Both of my kids are really smart kids. He doesn't even have to try hard. I can't even get mad at him when he like barely sleeps. Like he stays up late. Kid's awesome. I got, I'm very lucky. I got awesome kids. Awesome wife. Good job. Rhode Island. All right, cool. What part of Rhode Island? I used to work in Rhode Island. I used to work in Cumberland. I used to commute from up here to Cumberland. <laughs> Don't mention pledge. I'm telling you, I know that made me sick. That's probably why a lot of old-time truckers died early because they were using that pledge. Oh, what's up in a cushionette? Ah, Federal Hill. Nice to get good food over in Federal Hill. That's where you get the good Italian food over there. Oh, yeah. About a mile south of Chicago. Also, you can try the Lucas Oil Interior Cleanup. You know, that I might try that. I like Lucas products. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll try that. South Providence and Washington Park. Oh, cool. It's up in Baltimore. Man, Baltimore. That's a confusing city to get around. I used to haul out of Baltimore. American Sugar. Let me begin with. It was 2000 Max CH Elite. Nice. CH Max. The older ones? Those are awesome. Thank you. My truck's okay. It's not bad. Oh, it smells good. You know, I do like the smell of the Lucas products. Anybody else got any recommendations? I'm always interested in, um, in some new products. 
I like the Griffin Chemical stuff. Um, they got some good products. You guys know I like the Chemex soap. Mattapoisit. Nice Gary Bowman. I used to haul boats out of Mattapoisit. Can't remember the name of the place. It's nice down there. It's like a. It's like on the other side of Massachusetts for me. That's like. It's like an hour and a half from here south. How's the weather down there, Gary? Yeah, man. Wayne, yeah, you're hitting the... Oh, Brown, oh, Brownell, that's the place. And might have poison, Brownell. Yep, that's where I used to haul out of. Very good, Nadine. Yeah, my kids aren't into trucks. They go with me once in a while. I'm very happy about that. I, I mean, if they follow... If one of them wanted to follow me, I would support them. I'll support them in anything. Brownell Boatyard. That is exactly where I hauled out of my might have poison when I drove for New Century. Easy Texas. I love Texas. I've never tried the Chemical Guys stuff. But, I mean, they got a great reputation. East Texas, okay. What part of East Texas? You know, Texas... East Texas could mean, you know, up north. Could mean down south. I used to haul out of Brookshire, Texas. Architectural stone. I used to haul rice out of the rice valley down there so I, mean, I used i've been all over texas texas is a great state i was just thinking about texas the other day and i put a tiktok video in about texas trucks cedar rapids iowa yeah man i know what that is cedar rapids let me try and think here it's off the 80 80 to 380 right you kind of you go in 80 west and then you cut up cedar rapids that's where um big cereal companies over there isn't there General Mills or something? I don't know. What type of do you use for the roads and what type of blades do you use? I don't know what type of blades we use, to be honest. How to find really stuff for the dash? I use auto. Okay. Yeah, Quaker Oats. That's it. Used to haul out of there, too. Quaker Oats. Um, yeah, I haven't really been using a good interior. My, my interior stays pretty clean. What's up in Syracuse? How's the weather in Syracuse today? You getting any lake effect snow? Yeah, I haven't, my dashboard stays pretty clean. I kind of wipe it down with a microfiber. Like I said, I, I haven't found anything. Long view. Oh, long view. Oh, yeah. I heard a long view. I'm watching a movie, uh, a Clint Eastwood movie yesterday about Texas called um, Cry, March, Cry Macho. It's about an old. Uh, Bull hauler from Texas. Not a bull hauler. Bull rider. Rodeo. Rodeo guy. It's pretty cool. No snow in Syracuse today? That's a good thing. Awesome. It's, all, it's freaking just kind of murky and rainy and foggy and didn't wash the truck today because, hey, Andrew, if you're watching this, I'm washing tomorrow, just so you know. End of the day. You said you're washing Wednesday. 76-year-old retired trucker, Taunton, Southwest England. Awesome, man. Congratulations. 76. You're in England? West England. Southwest. I'm coming to England in July. Going to London. Hoping to go all over the country. Supposed to go. Actually, I'm supposed to go to England next week, but we postponed it to July. I love trucks. Used to sit on my porch and do the arm. Truckers would give me a blast on the horn. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, and you don't even have to be a trucker to appreciate trucks. And... Follow truckers on social media. I follow truckers on social media. I follow. All, I got. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of lots of people. I got. I got a whole list of people I like to follow. My town plow truck needs a break. <laughs> I bet, huh? Ours are sitting inside a garage now. We were in the big trucks today, and looks like we'll be in the big trucks the rest of the week. There's no. There's no significant weather coming in, except some more rain tomorrow and a little bit of sleet. But we're back to hauling, trucking. We're trucking full time. I mean, we never stop. That's, I mean, it's a good thing. You know, I don't mind the break. I don't mind the break. We don't work Saturdays in the wintertime unless we're plowing. That's a good thing. Once in a while we work Saturdays, but not too often. But, uh, anyways, uh, look for me in Louisville. I'm sure I'll be uh, talking about that. Should have a new video coming out soon. Maybe this weekend. This video's not 
performance this week is not going to be that good. Uh, nothing crazy has happened yet this week. Uh, was, uh, a man's man. Thanks. I'm going to tell my wife that. I'm a, Hey, honey, I'm a man's man. She'll, she'll be like, yeah, they don't know the real you. With all the snow now, we are dodging potholes. Yeah, no kidding, man. I just dodged a bunch of potholes driving over here. How about a celebrity? All right, how about a celebrity? Who do you know? It's snowing right now up here. Really? I'm glad we got a break from the snow. I hate snow. I hate winter. I don't hate, yeah. I like fall and spring. I like to get outside and go for a walk. It's freaking winters for the birds. But why do we live here? That's a good question. I always question people, why do they live places like where there are tornadoes, like Tornado Alley? Why do you live a tornado? Why do I live here where it snows all the time? I don't know. Nadine, are you related to Joe or Jake? Nadine's a woman. I never I don't have any people, women that follow us on it. Jesus, you sound like Howard. Howard was good today. Howard was good. I didn't hear the entire show. I heard most of it. It's pretty. It's actually pretty disgusting. But uh, <laughs> we need those Howard stickers, you and me, Andrew. Aren't you eating yet? Six inches tonight? Oh, my God. I am so... My wife's expecting six, inch, six inches, too. <laughs> that last storm was brutal. 48 hours? Dude, that's a long storm. We only did... I think we only did 21 hours in the plows. And then uh, we had to clean up. But it's enough. Snow's, snow's overrated. Try to tell people. I make it look fun on video, but it's really a lot of work. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's it. Going to move? Not going to move. Just deal with it. That's all. You know, I want to be one of those old timers one day that says, uh, I used to do that. I don't miss that. I want to be the guy. I hate the guys that go, I don't miss that. And it's like, oh, they're sticking it to you. I don't miss that. But you do miss that, I bet. That's why you commented on it. I don't know what that's like to say. I, I don't miss. I guess I could say I don't miss hauling a reefer. I don't miss sleeping behind the reefer. Okay. I don't miss grocery warehouses. Okay, now I'm one of those guys. Because we like to bitch for living here. <laughs> that's right. It, we wouldn't be breathing if we weren't bitching about something, right? That's awesome. Man, Mondays. Monday, Monday. My boyfriend watches you, but I enjoy watching. Thank you so much. Tell your boyfriend thank you. That's really nice of you guys. What did you guys say you were? You guys said you were Southern Mass? Cool. What's your boyfriend's name? Used to, oh, yeah? You worked in Vermont? You used to work for the Vermont. I used to work for the Vermont. <laughs> 31 years in state retirement keeps me here. Yeah. Good for you. Good for you. You know, there's something to be said about working for the state and working for the city. Oh, Kushner, that's why you said that. Cushion down by Stop and Shop off Route 24. I was talking to the city guy over in my town. He said, "Hey, we get some openings for CDL drivers." Uh, I said, "I said, yeah. I, said, I mean, I'm not interested, but what do you got?" He goes, "You know, guys are making seventy thousand a year, full benefits, full pension. You don't need any experience." And I was like, "What? Oh, he drives a Kenworth? Cool, K Whopper. That's old school talk right there. No experience to drive a." A dump truck for the for the town. They'll train you, which I thought it's pretty cool actually. If people are always asking how to get your foot in the door, there you go. Yeah, I like to see pictures of the Brownell trailers. Absolutely. Rented by Mr. Brownell. Yeah, cool. That'd be awesome. I think my blades are Frank. Yeah, I dude. I that is that is beyond my uh, knowledge. I'm not even like a real plow guy. I basically get in the truck. The plow's on the truck, and I plow. And we take off the plows. I literally pull up to my garage. The mechanic comes out, does a bunch of stuff, you know, cranks it down, unhooks the chain, unplugs the plug, gives me some hand signals, and that's it. I'm not like I'm like a fake plow driver. I'm not even a real truck driver. I just play one on YouTube. VUR life. What does that mean? What is VUR life? Almost afraid to ask. Peter Dickinson. 
Yeah. Which town was what? Which town was it? Trying to keep up here. State Highway Department. We were 30 inch snow storm last Thursday. 30 inches is a lot considering the blizzard of 78 was only 27 inches. So 30 inches is crazy. And 36 hours is amazing because in the blizzard it was like it was like two weeks. So you guys did a good job getting rid of that snow. That's for sure. And what else? What else? And a lot of other questions people have been asking me lately are, when's this new Western star coming? Oh, <laughs> Claire, how are you? Good day, mate. Bring us some snow, please. Australia is on fire again. Oh, that's too bad. That sucks. I love the Outback commercial. <laughs> they say, it's better to have a steak with some good mates. Yeah, I got to get there one of these days. 78 was brutal. Yeah, I was eight years old in 78, nine years old. I don't I, I remember it was a good time. My dad got stuck in it. My dad got stuck in it on 95. He was driving for Cape Cod Overland. Chris says he could keep his truck as clean as yours. Oh, can he? Can he really? Send a, tell me some, some pictures of his clean truck and we'll see. <laughs> I'm sure he can. Seven-year-old, thank you for using the better language. You're welcome. Are you one of the people that asked me to clean up my language? Because it's funny. A few pe like two or three people recently have said to me uh, they don't like the salty language. And I made an effort not to curse on my videos for a long time. And lately I've been getting a little more comfortable. I've been throwing a few S-bombs, maybe F-bombs, I guess. But some people don't like it because the kids watch. But I do hit, when I post my videos, it gives me a, a choice whether it's for children or not, and I always hit for not, just because, in case I said something bad. So, I think it might be porn. I don't know what that means. Mm. Hello, DJ Marcino, CBA. How you doing, Chad from New York? What's up? Part of New Yorkie from Chad. Chad's a cool name. It's like a tough guy name. Chad. But yeah, no problem, Sean Speed. I'll do my best. I can't promise. I can't promise. I don't even curse in real life, but sometimes I don't know. It is what it is. But you're welcome. What's your seven-year-old's name anyways? Give him a shout-out. Yeah, I think my name, Albany. Albany, oh, cool. Nice. How's the weather in Albany? Yeah, it's pretty, my language is pretty clean, but if you're a <laughs> trucker mouth, yeah, exactly. I used to really curse a lot. I sounded like an idiot. So, Liam, Liam, is it Liam Chai or Liam Chai? Liam Chai, that's a cool name. Wow, what kind of name is that? Is that Irish? That's a really cool name. Hello from Ecuador. Hello there. We're training the cat trucker on real trucks. Uh, not lately. Cat trucker is looking for uh, some part time mechanical work, if anybody knows. He's looking to. Turn some wrenches before he gets out there in the big trucks, because that kid is determined to be a trucker. That is for sure. No matter how much I try to tell him, he's gonna. He's determined. Oh, in Florida, very nice, very nice. Florida's a big state. Done a lot of Florida, a lot. The cat trucker. Everybody follow the cat trucker on YouTube. He's a good dude. He's like. I think he's 18 now. He's a good kid. He's very shy if you meet him in person. But uh, he will open up to you eventually. Thank you, Ben Moretta. My truck's filthy right now. I'm running in the rain and the salt and the snow today. Didn't wash it because uh, it's going to rain tomorrow morning. Chinese, I am a car hauler. Parking lot. Oh, cool. What's a Chinese name? Very cool. Liam... So I wish I wish I knew how to spell. How do you pronounce the chai? Is it chai or is it chai? Chai would be. Hello from the North Shore. What's up? The North Shore. The North Shore is like a whole nother state. People on the North Shore, man. <laughs> that is the, those are awesome people up there. What's up, haunted gamer? How you doing? Gamer. My son's a gamer. He's Rocket League. That's his game. It's one of his games. 
I don't game. I used to. No, nah, I never game. I got no game. I got this. This is all I got. Live video for my car. What's up from Stoughton? Hey, hey. I'm from Brockton. My parents live in Stoughton. My family's from Stoughton. What's up? Stoughton, Cobb's Corner, Chemung Hill. 138. Town Spa Pizza. What's up? You subscribe to my channel, DJ? Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wonder how you found my channel. What happened to my left hand? Nothing. It looks good to me. It's perfect the way it is. It's been like this since I was born. Uh, just not an accident. Birth defect. I wouldn't know what to do with ten fingers. Any more crap from people keeping your truck so clean? Your quality is off. Any more? No, nobody gives me crap for uh, keeping my truck clean. I have a few people like chai tea. Cool. No, I mean, some people are, have a lot of excuses. I hear it all the time. Like, my truck's clean. And they go, oh, well, you know, I had to do this. I go, I don't really care. I don't care. I don't judge people if the truck isn't clean, to be honest. I might just quit my old tractor job. So I got out of having to plow that last mess. You guys got it from me. That's, that's good. Now you should go back to the job in the springtime when the snow's over. Down in Brazil. Man, I don't get any snow down there. You grew up in the South Shore and Braintree. South Shore Plaza. And when there used to be a drive-in in Braintree? I, I, used to, I used to go through Braintree all the time. Dalton Water Supply over there. I grew up in Brockton. City of Champions. South Shore. I'm a South Shore boy. I don't live in the South Shore anymore. Now I live in uh, Metro West. Metro West. But, um... Yeah, this is fun. It's been a lot of fun. I got my lights on in my car. People are parked on both sides of me. They're looking at me like I'm nuts. I don't really care. I don't care. What are you looking at? I'm talking to my friends here. My son and I love it when you rummage two junkyards. I yeah, I would like to do that more often. Hope I can find some this summer. There aren't as many around Massachusetts that I know of. But when I find them, I'm there with my camera. Two to six ton boulders pretty soon, part time. Two to six ton boulders. Those are some pretty big boulders. That's the pucker factor right there when you dump a boulders out of your trailer. You go, oh boy, here we go. Just fall out, please. But you over the roadie days. The girlfriend store has legs. New subscriber checking in from North Dakota. What's up? Welcome aboard. I love North Dakota. I've been all over that state. That is a beautiful state. Very long, it's a long drive across North Dakota. Man, it's a long drive. Um, yep, yes, the drive next is 128. Triaxle. Triaxle bolt with six ton boulders? Holy cow. That's insane. I mean, how many boulders can you. How many boulders could you fit in a triaxle? Flat and damn cold. Yeah, man. I used to run up there. I'm trying to think where I went in North Dakota. I mean, I went all over. But, uh, man. I used to run out to the northwest to drive across there. You get through, you get from, like, Seattle to Montana. And it's like this beautiful ride. And you hit North Dakota. And it's just straight and flat. And in the winter time, it's treacherous. Bad hand. Check out Harmless Farmer. He drives a semi with no arms. Let's say, hats off to him. You know what? But if he was born like that, that's all he knows. You don't know any. I don't know any different with his hands. I mean, I get uh, you know, I get a bent pinky, right? I get these three fingers that didn't grow, and then my thumb is, but 99% normal. But it's a little. A tiny bit smaller than my thumb on this hand. And, like, the knuckles didn't grow. That's all. Um, I don't know. When I was a kid, I was told they could do a surgery where they put these needles through my each finger. And there's a turn screw. And, like, every day I turn it a quarter of an inch. And eventually, the fingers will grow out. My mother asked me if I wanted to do that. And I said, I, I have no need for that. I just, this is what is, I don't know any difference. I wouldn't. 
It wouldn't change my life if I had more fingers. It would, it would just be fine. Seven to three tonners, yeah, wow. Any more Boston Trucker hats in the future? Uh, I hope so. Trucker hats and shirts. I was addressing that earlier in this conversation, and uh, I probably should do that. And uh, if I wasn't so lazy, I would have that done. Or I want to say lazy. If I had to know, if I knew how to do that in an efficient way, it's the mailing out of the stuff that I'm worried about. Like, how am I going to get? The, am I going to like, have to go to the post office every week? But I'll figure it out. I think there's uh, I think there's companies that'll do that for you. So, what's up, Brad Adams? How you doing? Where's my new subscriber? How do you say your name? I don't want to. I'll butcher it. I'm gonna try. Wemmy. Hmm, that's a cool name. What is that? North Dakota. Wow, it's crazy up there. That's all like a whole nother. That's man. I miss going out there. All right, what time is it? Ah, oh, it's only six oh five. We'll keep this going for a few more minutes. So if you're new to this uh, video, I was telling people I'll be at Louisville at the truck show Thursday and Friday. Hope to see you all there. Um, I, I can't announce where I'm going to be for some reason. But uh, I'll be somewhere, and I'll be there. I hope the guys uh, get to meet you, everybody there and say hello and... If you ever see me somewhere, just come up and say hello. I'm not uh, I'm nobody. I'm nobody important. I just got a guy with it. I just got a YouTube channel. That's all. Teespring. Oh, that's yeah. Teespring. I heard of them. Yeah, I gotta do something. I know somebody that can make me a cool design. Um, I just gotta contact them. I guess. I don't. Know, I, I don't want to be a sellout either. You know, but it is cool to have hats. I like hats. Everybody's got a t-shirt. I like hats. I like this hat right here. This is a hat. See this? Those are trucks. Those are trucks. That was given to me by, uh, um, oh, man. I just had a brain fart. Yeah, shoot, I can't remember. Took video loading and dumping boulders. Yeah, boulders is uh, that's tough. Is the truck show coming up already? Yeah, uh, March twenty fourth, twenty fifth, and twenty sixth, Louisville. What are we? Five six weeks away. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't been there in years. To driving a ten wheel dump, three years count. Being a trucker, of course it counts. Come on. You only. Yeah, come on. You be you're being you're being being silly. Of course, of course you count as a trucker. A cars rule. They do. They do stickers. That's a good idea too. Boston trucker sticker. The Boston trucker on YouTube. Spread the word. Yeah, except I get confused with the other guy, who's a good guy, but um, he's you know. Auto cars are pretty cool. I'd like to drive an auto car, for about an hour or two, and then I think it would get old. But it would be kind of cool. Just the video footage. We have an auto car. We have a 63 auto car. I, I've only driven it once. It's got a quad box. The show up for the support. I, know, I think you're giving me more credit than uh, than I deserve. <laughs> support. I want to like to fight people. What kind of support do you think I'm going to need? You know. I can scrap with the best of them. You know, don't like this uh, body fool you. I've been in a few fights. That's <laughs> some support. You got my back, bro? Cool, man. Thanks. Where are you from again? What is your... Uh, <laughs> thanks. No, I don't need... I, hey, listen, I don't... Uh, I go to a couple big truck shows in the year. Shell Rotella sends them sends me there because they, uh, they like my content, and I'm happy about that. And uh, I'm not on here to get... I'm not, I'm not on YouTube to get famous, believe me. Believe me, if I had five followers... That would be fine. It's not uh, old school triplex and quad bucks had a lot of fun on the 80s. Oh, did you? That's pretty cool. The 80s, huh? That's when I started driving, late 80s. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I didn't uh, I didn't get into that stuff till later in life, but my dad did. Yeah, I should get some stickers, right? 
Southwest Maine now. What's up? Oh, you grew up in Boston. Okay. Southwest Maine. Wow. They're coming to the Hampshire border, right? It's a beautiful area. Very cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some merch going one of these days. I, I always think that nobody would want to see it or buy it, but I'll be stuck with it. <laughs> Wearing my own stuff. Somebody, uh, yeah, we're going to get some cat, the cat trucker stickers. We were just talking about that. We're in the middle of, we're going to, it's going to be the cat trucker stickers. Yeah, and hats and shirts. Yeah. Why? You want some? You're going to have your stickers of your own self? Cat truck, I was just talking about you like 10 minutes ago. Where were you? There's only good stuff though, brother. Newton Trucking still around. Yes. In Palladino. Yes, I believe so. What's up, Motown? Editing footage. Cool. Everybody follow the cat trucker on YouTube. He's a good dude. I know him personally. Barubi show. Yeah, did the Barubis even have a show last year? Because I can't believe I missed it. I don't think they had a show. I feel like it was canceled the last year or two. Sweatshirts. Wow, you guys were You really wanted me to get some merch going, huh? They didn't have a show. Okay, I think so. I usually go to that show. But I haven't been to the Bruby show in probably three years. That's a good show. Bruby's Chrome Shop. I have not been to McCungy. It is on my bucket list. And every year I say I'm going to go and I just... It's usually like, I think it's like when we're busy, really busy at work and I just can't go. But I know lots of guys that go down there from up here. You know, with trucks. They all convoy down. I want to go one of these days. I also want to go to the uh, the truck the truck races out in Canada. Those uh, the truck poles. Ruby's does have amazing food, but you got to get in line early because if you get in line too late, then you're in a long line. So you got to line up early. And they got a lot of free, good free food. There's a lot of good giveaways. It's a good time. It's usually good weather. It's a lot of good truck shows. Kia Jammer, it's a good show. Went to a great show last year at the Big Apple Farm in Rentham, the first annual truck show. It was awesome. And uh, what other truck shows we got? Oh, we got some good antique shows up here. Bolton, the ATHS show. I love all that stuff. I'm ready for truck show season. My truck isn't, but I'm ready. My truck needs to be polished. Too much salt on the roads. It's freaking pouring out now. What? I am going to Matt's, Cat Trucker. I'm going to Matt's. Yep. I'll be there uh, Thursday and Friday, and possibly Saturday. I'm going to be working there Thursday and Friday. What I'll be doing, I really don't know. I can't. I can't say now, but I'll be there. Are you going, Matt? Cat Trucker. Cat Trucker. That's a truck show you should go to, by the way. I know you've never been there. That's the one to go to. Shoot. I'm trying to hold my phone still. Bunch of calls. I almost said the F word. So on YouTube, when you do a live chat, you have to tap the screen where you can't see the comments. It's got to be a way to refresh these things. I don't want to mess with it. That'd be a hell of a birthday present. Tell your dad to take you there. It's not that far. It's like a thousand miles. It's a nice flight. It's not a long flight. Yeah, dude. Smith Farm Tilton. You are correct about that. I went to Matt's. Every year, um, through the 90s, up till 2006, before uh, my kids were born. Then uh, that all changed. Only been once since my kids were born. And I was supposed to go last year, then COVID screwed that up. Wait, I can't see the comment. Hold on. There we go. Let the bombs drop. What's that mean? What do you mean, let the bombs drop? I mean, where I'm going to be... Working at Matt's? No big deal, really. When is your next truck show here in New England? I would like to meet you. Oh, thank you. Next truck show in New England? 
The cat trucker. When's the next show in New England? He would know. I can't even remember. What's, uh... It's gotta be one before Gear Jammers. I'm not sure. But most of the truck shows in Massachusetts, and a lot of the truck shows in New England, I go to. It's tough, though. I mean, if they're Sundays, I go. Um, Saturday's tough because we work. A lot of, we work most Saturdays when the weather's nice. So, probably not until May or June. Yeah. I feel like there's some truck shows in April. I just can't think of any. But I'll be around. I always announce where I'm going. And, uh, not fudge. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, already then, I think we should uh, call it a day, right? What do you think? This has been fun. 47 people watching this. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing to my channel. That means a lot. It helps, uh, it helps get my video into the algorithms. The more people who are subscribed and watching, the more people see my videos. Speaking of work, you didn't happen to talk to whoever about the mechanic opportunity, did you? you when you say, did you... Are you accusing me of not talking, or are you asking me if I didn't? Because I did ask, yeah. And then, and uh, they're not hiring anybody right now. Maybe in the spring. And I was just gonna get back to you on that. But uh, I am keeping my eye out for you, and I've asked a few other people, uh, not in my company. All right, brother. I'd love to see you in McCunji. If not, maybe I'll see you at Matt's. I'll see you somewhere. See me on YouTube. No problem, the cat trucker. I was just kidding with you, buddy. Later, Robert. Have a great night. Get some rest. My daughter's about to jump in here in two seconds anyways. Thanks, everybody. Can't trick you. Yes. SLT and Carver. Oh, okay. Carver's a little far for him, though. He's an actin'. That's a long, that's a long hike. All right, brother. Oh, man. I'm going to be one of those guys going, I can't say. I'm looking forward to retirement, by the way. I, I think I'd want to work part-time, but i got a ways to go. I'm only 52, so I told my wife when I'm 67. She said, no, nah, when you're 70. But I said, no. All right, Mr. Cardillo, he's a, he's a good man. Cat Truck is looking for some opportunities to learning. He wants to get some mechanical skills before he goes out trucking. It's a great, fantastic idea. If anybody in the Boston area, Metro West, knows of anybody, reach out to the Cat Trucker. Follow the Cat Trucker on YouTube. He's a good dude. He's in high school. And he's awesome. And he loves trucks. And he supports us. John Metro, have a great evening. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to everybody. And, uh, all right. With that, peace and grace, Boston Trucker. Good night.